Well, folks, welcome to today's Big Buck Profile, brought to you by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. I'm here again at Bass Pro Shops at the Wonders of Wildlife Museum in Springfield, Missouri. We're excited to celebrate 40 years, our anniversary of North American Whitetail Magazine, by looking back at some of the greatest whitetail bucks of all time. And we would be remiss not to cover this great buck taken by Stephen Jansen in Beaver Dam Creek, Alberta, back in 1967. And I tell you, the Midwest is so well known for producing giant bucks, especially typicals. But back in the 60s, there were truly two hot spots known across the world, and that was Saskatchewan and Alberta. And the popular hunting method back then really was the man drive. And on that day in 1967, that's exactly what Stephen had done with several of his buddies. They had gone out that morning trying to push the bush and find a buck to shoot, and they were unsuccessful. But later that day when they returned to camp, Stephen actually spotted this buck with a doe, and he went after him with his 270 rifle, made a great shot and put the deer down, and the rest was history. The only thing is that Stephen did not believe the rack was symmetrical enough to score that high. So he went a whopping 17 years before he ever had the buck scored. It was only thanks to his nephew consistently telling him that the deer was deserving that he finally had it measured for Boone and Crockett. That's where they came up with the 204 and 28 net score. He's a 14 point typical with approximately a 25 inch inside spread. Of special note is the buck's right side, which scores alone over 103 inches. An incredible whitetail from Alberta, Canada. 